Hello everyone and welcome to the broadcast today. My name is Pastor Eric Buluma. This is the day the Lord has made for us to rejoice and be glad in it. Today I believe God is going to bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. Your life is going to be transformed. Welcome again in Jesus' name. Today we'll be talking about uh, how you are marked for victory. You are marked for victory. You're not going to be ever be defeated in the name of Jesus. So when you understand that you've been marked for victory, it doesn't matter what the enemy tries to bring against you. You've got to be like Jesus. You are anointed. You see, it's the anointing that marks you for victory. A text from the book of Luke chapter 4 verse 18. Jesus said, The Spirit of God is upon me, for he has anointed me to preach the good news to the poor. And as you continue reading down, the Bible says, Jesus closed the book and he said, This word has been fulfilled in your hearing. This word has been fulfilled in your hearing. And the Bible says people got angry and they began to push him. They wanted to push him to the cliff of the rock so that he fall down and die. But because Jesus knew he's been marked for victory, he's been marked for success, he knew you cannot res uh, stop me from becoming what God has ordained and marked me to be. So Jesus knew he's marked for victory. He cannot be stopped and he cannot be defeated by whatever the enemy is trying to bring against him right now. The Bible says Jesus walked in their midst and he walked on his way and continued to do what God called him to do. And that's the same mindset I want you to develop in your heart today that it doesn't matter what the enemy tries to do against you, you have been marked for victory. You've been marked for victory. And I decree over your life in Jesus' name, every voice of judgment, evil judgment against your life, I decree it is frustrated by the voice of God. You see, it's a voice of God that frustrates and silences anything that the enemy will try to bring against you. In the book of Isaiah chapter 44, verse 24 to verse 26, the Bible says, Thus says the Lord, the Redeemer, the one that formed thee from the womb, I'm the Lord that maketh all things that stretch, stretched forth the heavens alone and spread it abroad the earth by myself. Look at verse 25. He says, He frustrates the tokens of the liars and maketh diviners mad and turneth the wise men backward and maketh their knowledge foolish. And then he says in verse 26, He confirms the word of his servant and performeth the counsel of his messengers, says the Lord, Thou shalt and thou shalt be inhabited unto, thy cities, unto the cities of Judah, and you sh ye shall be built, and I will raise up the decayed places thereof. You see, there are two realities. There is the place where maybe there are people who are making judgments, and they are decreeing things against you, or they have said liar, lies against you. They, they are liars. The Bible says God is going to frustrate the tokens of liars. God is going to make diviners mad. Those who are cursing you, they are going to evil altars to decree curses against you. God says it's not what they decree that will come to pass. He says in verse 26, I confirm the word of my servant. So when you receive the word of God, that word is the one that will frustrate the evil declarations of people that are speaking against you, of the enemy that is speaking against you. So the evil declarations that are being decreed against you are going to be, to be silenced by the word of prophecy. Remember Deuteronomy chapter 23 and verse 5, he says in Deuteronomy 23 verse 5, he says, and the Lord will not hearken to the voice of Balaam. Remember Balaam was acting like a witch, hired you know, to go and curse God's people. The Bible says God would change the curse decreed by Balaam against his people. God would change it into a blessing because he loves you. So when you know that God loves you, then you understand that you've been marked for victory. It doesn't matter when they decree those things. You see, everything that they decree and everything that they plan against you is to bring failure in your life, is to bring pain in your life. What you need to know is that if you see a dream of evil, the Bible says in Isaiah chapter 7 verse 7, Thus says the Lord, it shall not stand, neither shall it come to pass. 
whatever the enemy is planning against you. He says, it shall not stand, neither shall it come to pass. It will not happen because God loves you. God has marked you. The Lord has marked you for victory in the name of Jesus Christ. Remember, you're a chosen vessel. When you are chosen, that's, that's what happens. When you're chosen, you are anointed. And you've got to know that you've been chosen by God. You've been separated for a special assignment. In the book of Acts chapter 9, verse 15, the Bible says, But the Lord said unto him, that is Paul, Go your way, for I have chosen, for, for go your way, for he is a chosen vessel unto me. He was talking to a man of God, telling him, Don't be afraid to go and talk to Paul. He is a chosen vessel unto me to bear my name before the Gentiles and kings and the children of Israel. You are a chosen vessel to bear the name of the Lord. And because you are a chosen vessel, God has to divinely protect you. God has to divinely protect your interests. God has to divinely protect your children. God has to divinely protect your extended family. So that he, the enemy doesn't come to attack your extended family. So that your, your mind is not distracted from doing what he has chosen and ordained you to do. You see, if your brother or your sister is attacked, your attention is going to be diverted. If your children are going to be attacked, your attention is going to be diverted. But today I pray for you, the same grace that was upon Job in Job chapter 1 verse 10. Even the devil was complaining to God and he said, God, you've built a hedge of protection round about Job, round about his children, round about all that is called by his name. I cannot touch anything that is called by the name of Job. And today I decree that same grace has been released in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. The enemy will not be able to touch anything that is called by your name. The devil cannot touch your children. The devil will never again touch your business or touch your career or touch your health. That will never happen again in the name of Jesus. Why? God has decreed his blessing. You see, the blessing of God has separated you and placed you at the top where the enemy cannot touch you. Remember, you are not of this world. That's what Jesus said. He said, you're not of this world. You have overcome the world because he says in 1 John chapter 5 and verse, verse 4, he says, whatsoever is born of God overcomes the world. Whatsoever is born of God overcomes the world. And this is the victory that overcomes the world, even our faith. He has handpicked you out of the masses, anointed you, and separated you from the corruption that is in this world. You cannot be corrupted by the evil. You cannot be corrupted by the diseases that are in this world. God has separated you, sanctified you, made you holy, set you apart to experience his grace, to experience the blessing and the favor of God. From today I decree the blessing of God is going to manifest strongly in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. In the book of Proverbs, chapter 4, verse 18, the Bible says the path of the righteous is as a shining light that shines brighter and brighter unto the perfect day. Remember, that is in, in line with whatever God has called you. So when you remain focused on the assignment, what you need to know is that if God has given you an assignment, he has anointed you to do something, a man on assignment can never ever be defeated. A man and a woman on assignment can never be stopped. You see, your progress cannot be stopped. You cannot regress. You can only progress. You cannot go backward. You can only make progress in your life. So the path of the righteous is like a shining light that keeps shining brighter and brighter unto the perfect day. So it doesn't shine brighter and dimmer. It keeps getting better. So you can never say, oh, I wish all those wonderful good years. No, the years that you have tomorrow the months that you have tomorrow they are going to be better the days tomorrow are going to be better than the days today because every day god says your life will be better every day you're going to get better results every day you'll be brightly shining glory to god 
I decree from today in the name of Jesus, you're no longer going to be hidden and disconnected from the opportunities and the connections that God has ordained for you. I decree in the name of Jesus, you're positioned rightly to take your, the full advantage of whatever God has availed for your accomplishment. I decree may that be your reality today in the name of Jesus Christ. In Exodus chapter 36 and verse 7, Exodus chapter 36 verse 7, the Bible says, For the staff they had was sufficient for all the work to make it and too much. There was an overflow of whatever was needed. Today I want to profess over your life. I don't know the projects that you have. That says the Lord, you're going to have an overflow of blessing. You know, and there'll be no room enough to contain it. You see, Moses received such a great blessing until he stopped the people. He said, can you stop? Because we have more than enough. We have more than enough. We are sufficiently supplied. And it is over above anything that we need. Today I decree over your life in the name of Jesus. May God supply to you over and above anything, everything that you need. All the projects that you have, I decree they are going to be accomplished. Your projects are going to be accomplished because whatever that project needs is supernaturally supplied from today in the name of Jesus Christ. In the book of Matthew chapter 3 verse 11 and verse 16 the Bible says he replied you permitted to understand you are permitted to understand the secrets of the kingdom of heaven but others are not but blessed are your eyes because they are because they see and your ears because they hear. To that decree, your eyes are anointed to see the vision so that you have and you're in a place where you are in the God's perfect will of your life. You have insight and understanding to the divine counsel of God, to the divine directions of God. You have insight into the things that God wants you to do. You have insight. You see that I'm talking about marked for victory. The person that is marked for victory is a man that walks in the counsel of God. Is a man and a woman that walks in the in the revelation of God's will. Your life is in line with his will. Your life is in line with his purpose. When you live like that, it becomes impossible to be defeated. First Chronicles chapter 12, verse 32, the Bible says from the tribe of Issachar, there were 200 leaders of the tribe with their relatives. All these men, un men understood the signs and the times and knew the best course of Israel to take. Glory to God. The sons of Issachar had an understanding of the seasons and the times. They had an understanding of the course of Israel. They knew what was supposed to, to be done. They were aware of the actions that are supposed to be taken now for us to see the grace of blessings coming in the next phase after taking actions. Therefore, today I decree in the name of Jesus that you have a discerning heart in the name of Jesus. You know and understand the seasons of the Spirit in the name of Jesus. And I decree from today, you will never miss the ordained opportunities that God has for you. Because it is those opportunities when you begin to walk in them that are going to manifest the blessings of God in your life. What you need to do, according to Isaiah chapter 60 verse 1, he says, Arise, shine, for your light has come. Light has come. Revelation has come. You begin to see something in the realm of the spirit. You begin to see beyond your optical eyes. You can see with clarity. You see beyond the physical. You see with the eyes of faith. He says in Isaiah 60, and verse 11, your gateways will always remain wide open round, around the clock to let the procession of kings bringing their constant stream of riches of the nations. The nation or kingdom that refuses to serve you will perish and be utterly destroyed. Look at what God says, your, your doors will continually 
throughout the clock, 24 hours, they'll be opened for wealth to be poured in your life. And he says, kings will come to be a blessing to you. Leaders will come to be a blessing to you. God shows you that if you change your mindset and you begin to reason, you shall be made a commander of nation, nations. You shall be made a commander of kings. Kings are coming to your courts to bring treasures. Kings are coming to sit down with you, to take counsel from you. And he says your gates will never be shut. So that the abundance of nations will begin to come in. That begins to show me that God can give you the grace to do international business. Begin to think about your business expanding to other nations. That is what God is showing you in the book of John chapter 5 and verse 30. John chapter 5 and verse 30. He says, Jesus said, I'm not able to do anything of myself independently of my own accord. Hallelujah. But... He says, but only as I am taught by God, as, as I get his orders, as I'm taught, as I'm directed, I can of myself do nothing except as I'm directed, except as I'm ordered by God. Today I decree the special blessings of God. They're going to manifest in your life. They're going to manifest in everything that you do in the name of Jesus. May you experience a total turnaround today in the name of Jesus Christ. And I prophesy from today, may God change your life. May God lift you up. May God begin to exalt you. May God begin to show you his grace, his miraculous power in the name of Jesus Christ. God is able to show his grace. God assures you of his victory and you will never be defeated. Matthew chapter 5 verse 14, he says, you are the light of the world. You are a city set on a hill. You cannot be hidden. You are the light of the world. You have ability to transform the entire nation. You have ability to pray for the nations of the world and you see tangible transformations. That is what God wants you to begin to see. If God did not spare his own son, according to the book of Romans, chapter 8, verse 32, for God did not spare his own son, but gave him up for us all, how much more, together with him, will he give us everything else that we desire in our lives? Whatever you desire for you to accomplish what God has called you to accomplish, he says he's able to supply. If he did not spare Jesus, but gave him up for you, how much more together with him will he give you everything else that you desire in your life? Remember the Bible says in 1 John chapter 4 verse 4, he says, you have overcome them because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. So you don't allow the enemy to put you down. You see, when you hold on to the word of God, he says in the book of Luke chapter 1 and verse 37, he says, for the word of God will never fail. His word will never fail. When you hold on to the word of God, the word of God will never fail. The word of God is stand, will always stand to be a reality in your life, to be the reality that you manifest every day in the name of Jesus. And right now to speak a special blessing in your life. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord cause his face to shine upon you. I decree from today, you are marked for victory. It doesn't matter what the enemy tries to bring against you. You are marked for victory. You are marked for success. You are marked for blessings in the name of Jesus. And from today, I decree God's special blessings are now manifesting in your life in the name of Jesus. You're going to see God's increase. You're going to see God's favor. And I speak healing in your body. I speak healing in your family. I speak deliverance right now as you're watching in the name of Jesus that God is going to set you free God is going to lift you up in the name of Jesus receive the grace of God receive the blessing of God right now in Jesus mighty name from today may you experience God's special blessings 
in Jesus' name. Shalom. Thank you so much for taking time to watch. And right now, I want to declare a blessing over you. If you're not born again, please repeat this prayer after me. Say, Dear Lord Jesus, I receive you as my Lord and Savior. I believe in my heart that God raised Jesus from the dead. And I confess with my tongue that Jesus Christ is Lord. Today I decree I'm born again. I'm a new creature. The old is gone and the new has come. From today I decree my life is transformed. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Thank you so much for taking time to watch. May God bless you. May God favor you. In the name of Jesus, please get in touch with me and share your testimony of what God has done in your life. And you can share your testimony with the number that is on the screen right now. And you can also follow me on Facebook. My Facebook page is Pastor Eric Bluma. May the Lord bless you and the Lord keep you. Thank you for watching. Shalom. See you next time.